Hello there once again and good evening. Um, now tonight um, I've got some um, CDs to show you but there's um, a bonus to these DVDs, the limited editions. Um, but before I go in, uh, into that, um, first of all, if any of you watching this are uh, fans of dance music, trance music, stuff like that, or just uh, music in general, pop music, rock music, whatever, you, you'll have probably have noticed that uh, you cannot really buy any um, music video um, clip compilations on DVD or Blu-ray online or in the shops or anywhere, basically, pretty much. Uh, there has been the odd one, like for certain artists, like for example, Madonna, um, you know, AHA, a few groups like that have had some um, DVD re releases where they've had uh, all of that or most of that um, music videos on one DVD um, but you cannot really get the compilations there's also been over the years there's been a few um, now that's what I call music um, ones but they're pretty much hard to get now as well I think and they were mainly pop music um, but they still weren't too bad um, I've got some of them somewhere around the place here. Um, but for the most part, you kind of really get hard to get them, especially for dance music and trance music type uh, music videos. And when I say music video videos, I mean the official music video for, for the uh, singles and stuff that came out. Uh, you pretty much um, can't get any DVDs with those at all. And you certainly can't get any Blu-rays. In the past, I did manage to pick up um, a few um, dance music um, video collections on DVD, but I forget where I got them from. There was some website, it was like a specialist website online somewhere. I think there might have been DVDs that were kind of meant for DJs, you know, when they play them in the clubs or the, or the bars and they have them on TV screens around the place, just playing music videos in the background where they're... Usually when they're, when they're playing some other different music, they have like... Music videos playing on the screens in the in the in the bar or the club. I think they might have been made for that. I'm not sure, or they might have been. I'm not sure if they were bootlegs. They didn't seem to be. Um, but I did have a few of those, and they had like um, artists like Scooter and uh, um, I'm trying to think who else. Just like loads of famous like trance and dance DJs and music artists, musicians, uh, type stuff. But anyway, there's um these ones I've got to show you here. You can these ones you can still get so but they're getting quite rare now so if you want to get hold of any of them um you'll have to be probably quite quick um the first one is this one the limited editions by the way and this is the the ministry of sound annual 2005 which is uh you can see here it says it's a limited edition because it's got a, a dvd with it and uh, these are, as far as I'm aware, these are pretty much the only ones you can um, actually get now that have music video compilations uh, on a DVD. Um, you can get these second hand. Some of them you can get them from about three or four pound each. But uh, some of the other uh, ones that are available, um, some of them must be out of print completely. So the price has gone up to like 20 odd pound each and stuff. So, um... They're worth getting your hands on if you're a fan of um, dance music and trance music and stuff. But I have to say there's um, actually more um, dance type music on these videos um, than trance. Um, there was a music video by um, some artist called DT8. I don't know if any of you are familiar with them. But they did a song called Winter. That's on one of these um, DVDs. And um, anything else? Most of it's like stuff like Eric Prid's Call On Me and stuff like that. And uh, Freddie Legrand, like Put Your Hands Up. I don't know if you're familiar with any of those. And something called The Creeps, I think. I um, forget the name of the track. Um, but the, most of the videos on these uh, DVDs, I used to watch them regularly in the mid-2000s to late-2000s on MTV Dance when I used to have that channel. But I don't actually have MTV Dance anymore, unfortunately. Um, I heard you can get that channel in H HD now. Does that, can anyone confirm that? 
if you can get um N MTV dance in HD on any of the um TV channels. Um so basically what you get inside here is the um a double C D album which are um I believe they're all mixed together like one track into the other the other. And then you get the DVD which is just in that sort of basic uh purpley pink uh, cover thing with just DVD printed on it. Yeah, they really put put some work into that and some thought into that, didn't they? But never mind. I mean, it's the only way you can get these. Um, pretty much the only way you can get these. Um, music videos on DVD these days, as in these. So I'll just give you. A, I'll try and read some of the tracks off the back of this. I don't want to bore you all to death, but just in case any any of you just want to uh, purchase any of these uh, DVDs, um, you may be interested in what's on them. But the print is really small. There's uh, Angel City featuring uh, Laura McAllen, I think it says. And that is um, Love Me Right. That was a pretty decent video. And there's Danzel, Pump It Up. I'm sure you're all familiar with that one. He did another um, track and a video which was better than that one in my opinion. And that one was called Under Arrest. And you can watch it here on YouTube if you're interested. It's in high definition. That's a good video and a good song in my opinion. And it's also got, uh, as I said earlier, um, Eric Prid's Call On Me. That infamous video, which was actually um, influenced by the movie Perfect. Starring John Travolta and Jamie Lee Curtis, of course. And if you've seen the Call On Me video, you should know that if you've seen the film as well. Um, what else we got? It's very small. We've got I.O. Rapture, that's with uh, Nadia Ali, did the, uh, appeared in that video and did the vocals. DJ Sammy, um, The Boys of Summer is on here, a video for that. Anyway, I won't go through all of these because, um, you know, I've got some more to show you. Um, and here's another one, it's uh, the annual 2007 of, uh, Ministry of Sound. And this also has a DVD, and the DVDs have 20 videos on, by the way, so there's a fair few. Um, so this one's got, um, uh, let's see, Beat Freaks, Somebody's Watching Me, Joey Negro, uh, Make a Move on Me, Freddie Legrand, Put Your Hands Up, what else we got, David Guetta, This Is The Egg, Love Don't Let Me Go, um, what else we got? Tom Novi featuring Michael Marshall, Your Body. Yeah, some some of the videos aren't great, like, and some of the songs aren't great in my opinion, because, but but there's some really good ones mixed amongst these, and, and it's still good to have them. Like I say, I know you can get most of these videos here on uh, YouTube, but the difference is the quality, the picture quality on these videos is far superior to the uh, versions people have put on YouTube here. Because some of them, I checked them out, some of them on here are absolutely appalling quality. They're like worse than um, standard definition quality. And not only that, some people have uh, upscaled them to 1080 pixels. And some of them look even worse. <laughs> it's like unbelievable. Worse than the actual version on this DVD. And I must point out that these videos on most of these discs are not anamorphic widescreen. Uh, that you have to like either watch it square or if it's in widescreen you gotta uh, like zoom it on your TV but the picture quality is still pretty damn good on these DVD transfers I must say there was a couple of them I'll show you in a minute called the club files and uh, for some reason the, the videos on them ones the picture quality isn't quite as good as these ones but um, it's still not too bad you know still uh, it varies actually from video to video but overall I'd say that's slightly worse quality than the ones on the ministry Sound one, sound ones. Um, so what else is on here? Let's see. Outwork Electro. DJ Jos Josie stepping to the beat. I might have pronounced that name. I read it wrong. Do apologize. Anyway, that's the Ministry of Sound, the annual two thousand and seven. I think you can get these versions without the CD in as well, because as I said, these are limited editions, so they're only um released. A few, uh, several, I don't know, a few hundred thousand of these, and then the rest were just the CDs, CDs without the uh, DVD inside. And um, 
And here's another one. This is called the Club Files. And you can still get some of these quite cheap at some of the higher up uh, volumes because there's, there's like volume 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. I think the, I'm not sure how high they go up the volumes, but I think there's a few of them. And you get two CDs with this as well. And the DVD, of course. And uh, like I said, the picture quality on these ones doesn't seem quite as good as the uh, Ministry of Sound ones. But some of them have this, some of the same videos on as the Ministry of Sound, just the odd one here and there. But there's a lot of different ones as well, so they're still wor worth getting a hold of, you know. So uh, let's see what we've got on this one. Bob Sin Sin Sinclair and Gary Pine and Dollar Man, Sound of Freedom. Alex Gardino featuring Crystal Waters, Destination Calabria. Michael Mind featuring Manfred Mann, Earth Band, Blinded by the Light. Uh, Mech. Featuring Dino feels like home. Oh, that's all the one I was trying to I was talking about before. The Creeps, which is uh, Freddy Freddy Legrand, the Creeps, and um, what else we've got? Um, Lexi and K Paul featuring Darian a e, uh, wide road. See, I'm not familiar with some of these uh, names. I mean, I've heard them about, but um. Some of them are not easy to pronounce, I'll tell you that much. And um, anyway, you get um, you only get sixteen videos on this one. Uh, but but uh, cheapskates, these uh, ones that do the uh, club files ones compared to the Ministry of Sound ones. But these uh, open out, and you've got the um, four discs inside there, as you can see. I mean, three discs, sorry, not four. I did an extra one there. And there's only three. And then I've got uh, the only other one I've got. This is uh, Club Files Volume 2. And this one I got recently from Music Magpie. And it cost me, um, I think it was $2.99 second hand. And uh, I haven't actually played the uh, the DVD yet. I've played the uh, CDs. Um, I liked um, some of the music on the uh, CDs. Um, but some of it was a bit, uh, a bit uh, you know. But uh, I think it's because the music is all remixes. And I'm not familiar with the remixes. I'm more familiar with the original versions that they were on the singles and on the videos. But on the videos, it's got the original um, version of the song, of course. So they should be uh, a bit better, I think, for most for the most part. So on here, we have got, let's see, Tiesto featuring BT, Break My Fall, Bob Sinclair again, and Fireball, What I Want. These ones are a little bit easier to read than the other ones for some reason. And uh, what else we got? West Farm and the Love Committee. Love is everywhere. Um, uh, this is Club Files classic videos. Eric Prids once again. Call on me. But this is the um, uh, what's it called? The dirty version. It says here. Now, to my uh, knowledge, I don't think there was actually a dirty version of um, Call on Me. Because I used to have the DVD single. I don't know if any of you remember those. But they used to release uh, some singles on DVDs with the video. Instead of a CD. So you just put the DVD in your DVD player. And watch the, the video on the TV. But only had one video on. Well sometimes it had two or three like, different versions of it. But uh, basically there wasn't much on the disc. So I can understand why they didn't take off. That's a waste of a um, DVD, really, putting two or three videos, which are about three minutes long or so, on a, on a DVD. There must have been a lot of empty space wasted on those discs, that's for sure. And I had that, and it had uh, something called the daytime version of Call On Me, and it also had the nighttime version. But it didn't say anything about a dirty version, but this one says Call On Me, the dirty version, but I'm pretty sure that's probably the nighttime version. What was on the DVD single, I should imagine. So I'll have to check that one out to see if it's any different anyway. I doubt it will be. Um, what else we got? Uh, Le Yves La Rock, Rise Up, Masters at Work, Work, Big Bass versus Michelle. Not can't read that. N Noreen or something. What do you do? Playing somewhere beyond. 
uh, and this Robin, um, and I can't even, some Konnichiwa bitches or something, and, um, well, you get the idea of what's, oh, some, uh, booty love, don't mess with my man, which is not a bad track, so that, uh, should give you an idea of roughly what's on that one, and yet again, you get about, uh, 16 videos on that one. So the next one I've got here is uh, the annual 2009 and it comes in a slightly different type of box it's got like a transparent uh, plastic um, slip cover on it with the words the titles over the top of the image there and on the back of this one on the DVD rather it's uh, got uh, about 20 tracks and I must point out this one which was made in 2009 this is the first one to my knowledge that actually has the um, videos in anamorphic wide street wide stream wide screen and um apart from i think that was a i think it was a 2007 one had one video uh, in amongst the others that was in anamorphic wide screen and the rest weren't i don't know why that was that was kind of weird but um anyway but anyway this one has got really small print on the back and i can hardly see it i should have I should have uh, invested in a magnifying glass because I, I don't actually own a magnifying glass, believe it or not. I used to have one when I lived with my parents, but um, it was my dad's magnifying glass, I believe. But I used to borrow it on uh, several occasions. But I haven't got that one now, unfortunately. So um, anyway, this has, got, this has got three videos by Bass Hunter on it, I believe. One of them is Now You're Gone. And one of them is Angel in the Night. That's the last one on the disc. And, uh, oh, <laughs> and it's also got a video um, by the Freemasons, believe it or not. I don't know if anyone, any of you are familiar with the Freemasons, but they used to make music, apparently. I don't know if they still do or not. Um, but um, this one's called When You Touch Me. Yeah, and... Uh, also, Alex Gardino featuring Sheena, Watch Out, Booty Love, Some Kinda Rush, um, and what else we've got, uh, Dizzy Rascal, I must point out, I, can't, I cannot stand Dizzy Rascal, it's not my type of music whatsoever, so um, anyway, and um, what else we've got, we've got um, Bass Hunter, All I Ever Wanted, I'm sure you all remember that one. And, and uh, do any of you remember when Bass Hunter was actually on Celebrity Big, Big Brother? And he was making moves on most of the women in the house? Because he's a bit of a ladies man. So I would say, or, or, or should that be a womanizer? <laughs> I'm not sure. But anyway, he couldn't uh, keep away from the women, basically. And there's, uh, what else we got? DJ Q featuring MC... Uh, Bonez or something, can't right read that probably. You what? Um, Rick, Richie, what's that? Rick, it's either Richie or Ricky Lee, I can't quite read it probably. Um, you want a little of this? Um, September, Cry for You, that's, that's a pretty good one. Sash featuring Stunt, Raindrops, Encore, on yeah, that French one, I kind of, kind of quite pronounce it. You must know the one I mean, though. Encore, Encore La Fong, or something. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, so anyway, that's an idea of what sort of videos are on there. Um, like I say, that one's on anamorphic widescreen. And uh, yes, there's a lot of decent videos on there, but there's also some not so decent ones, depending on your musical taste. Or... Uh, Taste in music videos as well, um. So, but I'm I'm a what you call a bit of a um, music video connoisseur. I watch lots of videos, music videos here on uh, YouTube from all over the world. Mainly, uh, I watch a lot of Russian music videos. Um, main my favorite Russian groups include Vintage, who consist of a, a female singer and a, a guy. Who uh, plays most well? Some of the instruments and sings as well. And if you it's, sometimes they have some guest sort of vocalists, female vocalists and stuff as well. And uh, I also like Viagra, 
not Viagra, not to be confused with. I, th I think they did name it after the drug, but um, it's pronounced Viagra, I think. That's a proper way of saying it. And that's three girls, and over the years, they've been going for over 10 years or more. And over the years, that those three girls have uh, changed like into different people over the, over the years that add new members and get rid of old ones and stuff. I think they're pretty much run by a production team. They're not like a group, um, you know. They're a bit like, um, you, know, you know, when you watch the X Factor and the the artists on there, like, you know, it's like it's like um, it's like a machine, you know. They put these bands together all mechanically, and they're run by a big group of people behind. But I guess lots of music people are are run by people like that, and then you've got like bands that are pretty much set themselves up you know like oh i think aha did and uh rolling stones people like that you know the the big name groups just that people are familiar with like rock groups and that but a lot of these uh pop stroke dance type artists are often have producers behind them and a lot a, a big team of people that sort of uh control everything they do and who's in the band and who writes the songs and all that and what the music's going to be like and what the videos are going to be like and, and, and you just probably have realized that a lot of uh, music videos are absolutely filled with um, symbolism. Like, mainly like the, um, you know, that sort of, like, you know, how do you put it, like, you know, that sort of symbolism and stuff. And and, and also um, a few other things, like, like maybe that symbol. And um, what else? Circles, a lot of circles. Yeah. Like in the, one of uh, Kylie Minogue's recent music videos it might have been for magic i think there's a there's a big uh ring of light behind her head she's sitting on like a looks like a throne and there's like a big circle almost like a um a ring light that you would use like or i'm using to uh, light up this video for example where it's like kind of narrower big one behind her head like a halo around her head and uh so they use that symbol quite a bit it was also in the new steps video called um what the future holds they had a circle behind them. It was also behind one of the heads. If you watch that video, you should see what I mean. Whatever that means, I'm not sure. But, you know, that was in there. And uh, also in that video, they had a couple of X's in the background. And any Chinese writing at the background. So I'm not sure what they were trying to say there. But that was in there as well. So there's loads of um, symbols that, that all over, you know, like... Um, like Illuminati stuff and all that. It's all it's it's all over the place in music videos. Madonna, Madonna actually did a, um, a song called Illuminati. Illuminati, as a lot of you might uh, actually know, it was on the album Rebel Heart, which was uh, about two or three years ago. I think it was twenty sixteen. She made that album, and uh, in, in that uh, al in that song. She said something about its its secret and its secrets and its lies, and she said, um, uh, "What was it called? I can't remember the lyrics." Everybody join this party, shining like Illuminati. That's some of the words that were in the song. It wasn't a bad song actually. I like bits like part of the song. I didn't like some of the middle bits that went went in between the chorus and that. But the, overall, it wasn't a bad song. The best song on that album was actually um, Joan of Arc. I think anyway, I don't know if you've heard that album. Rebel Heart is the album by Madonna. And the other really good song was um, Ghost, Ghost, Ghost Town. Um, actually, there used to be a TV show called Ghost Town. It was, it was actually called Ghost Towns. It was Derek the Cora's Ghost Towns. I don't know if anyone actually seen that show. It's, uh, it's unfortunate because Derek the Cora actually passed away. Um, I think it was either start of this year or near the last year. And I didn't even know until months later, actually, my friend told us. Um, so that was sad news, you know. Anyway, um, anyway, I'm getting off the track here. So anyway, the ne next one I've got here is another Ministry of Sound annual. From 2006, this one is. It's got lots, lots of uh, nice colours. It looks like the little colours that make up the little pixels on your old TV. Screens. I think you still see them on the modern ones. It's like all the little different colours and the pixels that make up the uh, TV picture. But um, yeah, that's what it reminds us of anyway. And, uh, and this one also has a DVD with it. 
and this one also has 20 videos on it <clears throat> and you can get this one quite cheap as well if you go on ebay if you're interested in picking up a um, good um, compilation of dance music videos from 2006 and this one has, one has once again got the freemasons on it the actual group called the freemasons not the not the other ones um although i haven't said that because the, vid the video is full of the you know but anyway um the, the freemasons video is called love on my mind i don't know if anyone's familiar with that one it's studio b i see girls that was a pretty good video cabin crew star star to fall which was uh, a song originally by Boy Meets Girl, and that, those are the ones that's singing it on there. They've just sampled it, I think, and added some different music and stuff to it, and repeated the, uh, the chorus more more than on the original version. And there's also um, Owner of a Lonely Heart, the uh, dance uh, version, the remix one, which is um, by, um, let's see... It's by uh, uh, Max Graham versus Yes. Yeah, it was originally by Yes, owner of A Lonely Heart, which uh, as most of you probably know was a pretty good track by Yes. And the dance version isn't much different to the original version, really. The video is pretty good as well, but it isn't anamorphic. None of these are anamorphic, unfortunately. But that one was shot full screen anyway, so it doesn't really make much difference. Uh, what else have we got here? We have got Alex Gold back from a break, it's called. And we have got um, that one I mentioned earlier, the DT8 Project Winter. That's a good one, it's a really good song and video. Angel City Sunrise, that's another uh, really good video and song in my opinion. And uh, what else have we got? Uh, Uniting, Uniting Nations, Out of Touch. Which is a, um, an old uh, Daryl Hall and John Oates song that they've turned into a dance version. That one was pretty good and the video was good. And we've got Stony Bridge featuring Therese. Take Me Away. Got Milo uh, in my arms. Um, Les Rhythms Digitalis. And I can't quite read that bit probably. Um... Anyway, there's 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 a fair few good videos and songs on this one as well. So these are well worth getting your hands on. I've got one more to show you. This isn't all the ones I've got, but this is all the ones I could find at, at short notice type of thing. There's this one, which is a different one. It's called The Very Best of Euphoric Dance Breakdown. And for some reason, I don't know why, it's got, first of all, the back is upside down. Obviously, Satan is supposed to, supposed to put this together, or something. Um, but um, this one has got mostly the same videos on it as one of these. I forget which one it was, but they're all in a different order. I think there's a few extra ones on there. It isn't on the other one. It's got like uh, Boogie Pink Pimps, uh, Somebody to Love. You know that track? Uh, was it? Was it going again? I just want somebody to love. I'm not going to sing all that. I kind of sing to save me life, especially when I can't remember the lyrics. But um, it's a good video. It's got like this woman. She's in sort of a lingerie, and she's like a giant, and she's lying across fields in the countryside, and she's lying and writhing around on the on the ground. And then there's this plane, a red plane. I think it's a red plane, and all these little babies um are like dressed up in jumpsuits. And they jump out of the plane and they're skydiving. And uh, they want some milk. They're really hungry or thirsty or whatever. And they see her sort of cleavage, her, her boobs, so to speak. And, and they all land on her. They're landing on her chest and stuff. But they're like really small. And uh, they land on her chest. It's, it's kind of funny. The, the parachute's open and they're falling down from the, from the sky. I don't know if you've seen that video, but it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, it's, it's a good video actually um, it's well worth checking out it's on here so if you want to see that video get a hold of this um, and you can, I think you can still get this one for, for about between three and four pounds possibly less if you're lucky um, but some of the other ones the ones I haven't got 
like the club files volume three four five six and whatever some of them are over, over 20 pounds each and i don't fancy paying over 20 pounds each for uh, cd cds or dvds really i prefer to get the cheap ones if i can and this one's got io rapture on it again and uh, deepest blue i think that's a new one i don't think that was on the other one i might have missed it deepest blue with the song give it away that was a good one i like that one quite a bit and also um angel city featuring laura mccallan uh, do you know i go crazy in brackets it says and it's also got divine inspiration the way um what was it put your ha hands in my hand i think i remember that one and um dht featuring what's his can't quite read that word um so forget that one and it's got studio b i c girls once again and um call on me's on here as well i think i've got three dvds with call on me on it now and call on me's also on here on youtube in anamorphic widescreen it's upscaled to uh 1080 pixels from standard definition but it still doesn't look that great me i mean it looks okay but when you put it on your 42 inch uh, widescreen HD TV. It doesn't look that great, to be honest with you. But, you know. So, the, the version of Call on Me that's on these, you have to zoom the picture to get it to fill your widescreen TV. But I still think it probably looks a bit better than the one on YouTube, you know. But I'm um, not sure where they got that version from. But anyway, that's uh, all the ones I've got here at the minute to show you. So if you want to get your hands on some uh, music video DVDs, compilations, collections, I suggest you pick some of these up. And uh, they're available on eBay. And I think some of them are still on Amazon Marketplace as well. And like I say, you can actually um, pick some of them up for around three to four pounds each. And you get two CDs with, with around 20 tracks per CD and uh, a DVD with 20 videos on. And the Club Files ones have only got 16 videos on, but still that's not too bad, you know. Considering you can't buy actual DVDs separately with a, a collection of dance music videos on them, or any sort of music videos for that matter, unless it's by a specific artist. There's, like I say, there's a few of them available, but no, not many. So, anyway, that's pretty much... I've got... Uh, that's pretty much... Um, um eight for the minute uh, so i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have um you know could you possibly give us a little thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me here on my channel and hit the uh, little bell notification thing 